Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? We're back with some more Blade and Soul, and this time we're going to be taking a look at the icy treats that the game have had for a while. Now, this is the last week that you can get it because this ends on January the 13th, so you want to be getting these pretty soon before they come, uh, they ran out. However, I have gotten some, and we're going to be opening a couple in the next few days, so I'm really excited to uh, do that for, for you guys for the next few days and um uh we're, we're gonna keep going here all right so today's video is gonna be about is the icy chest worth it all right i'm gonna give you pros and cons about if the icy chest is even worth it or not because it is the last week that you can get it all right guys so with that being said let's go right into it so if you press your f10 you will go to the Hong Moon store. Hold on, let me make sure this is going. All right, there we go. All right, so there's two ways to buy this, right? You can buy this on either the Hong Moon store or the Endcoin store. Now the Hong Moon store, you can only buy 10 a day, which this can make you a little bit cringy because you can only buy 10 a day and uh, you have to uh, convert. And, and if you want this for free, you have to convert your gold to Endcoins and then that end coin will convert to Hongwon coins, and then you can buy these ice treats. Um, and of course, you only buy 10 a day, and there's not a lot of options. You can only buy from this part right here, right? But from the end coin store, if you want to spend real cash, all right? End, coin is, uh, end coins are real cash to where you can buy these treats right here, and uh, you can get them. Now, in my opinion, um, the best way to just get them is... is is just get get the Hongwon coins and just uh, buy these icy trades because one they're free and uh, you buy 10 a day so you've been stacking these you can get around 50 of these they're not too bad all right so um let's go over what's inside these icy treats so what's inside them are future potions uh twilight plants 10 moonstone bundle 100 moonstone bundle flawless heptagonal Freaking Hong Moon Amethyst, okay? This is an upgraded gem. I believe this is a uh, tier 2 upgraded gem. So, like, you have a chance to get a gem here. Hello? That's too powerful. And this gem, okay? If you really want to take a look on what it can do, you can go to this part, and then you go to... Bam! And this that gem right there. It is the exact same gem. Flawless, brilliant, Hong Moon, Heptagonal, Amethyst. Gives you 7 attack power, 200, 222 life rate on critical so each time you crit you heal a little bit and that's how you can keep yourself alive now look at this it this is insane you can get a free gem now your tablets aren't really a thing for me I don't really care uh, experience charm useless radiant energy is eh, to me is I, I don't really care, care I don't really care about it but the next thing is the silver frost premium transformation stones these things are so useful and they are disgustingly rare like it is so rare that you get get one of these it's unbelievable it's like like me getting one of these is probably never because i don't like you know my freaking rng is terrible but if you do get one of these you can uh and if you're at true scorpio you can of course break through to a legendary weapon uh for free basically if you get one of them and uh you okay it's not really free because you need uh 80 gold still but you know you're about to gonna you're gonna hit legendary immediately and then you can either choose baleful or uh um Seraph's weapon, so uh, yeah, there it is right there, right? You just need one. You only need one, so that's it, right? So, uh, Transformation Stone, premium, really nice. Silver Frost Transformation Stone, regular. Um, that's also nice as well if you guys if you guys are gearing up. This chest is actually not too bad. If you're not, at, you know, pre-legendary like me, this chest is not too bad. But, um, like, if you guys are staring gearing up, the 100 uh, Moonstone is going to be good. The 10 Bundle Moonstone is going to be good. But you're going you're gonna to have to spend a lot of gold. Like, I'm serious. It's a lot of gold to do, to do this. So, next thing is 100 Stingers Bundle, okay? Now, Stingers to me are, pre are pretty useless. Because, one, Stingers to me are like... Are like uh, like just they're just chips for me like I, I get them all the time right and I have a lot of freaking stingers so I don't need them the next thing is countdown now countdown is an outfit so if you go to your wardrobe and you type in your search bar count hold on count I can't spell you guys count 
down, which is right there. You can like take a look at it. Now, this outfit, in my opinion, looks great on some characters, okay? It looks good on the female young class because it looks like the, you know, the coat that they're wearing is actually, you know, over the shoulder. And it's, you know, it actually not doesn't look too bad. But, what, like, this dress looks like I just came out of the bathtub real quick, right? This chest, I literally came out of the bathtub and I'm like, man, I don't got time to put on this jacket. And that's what it is. And... The guys, okay, the guys have the tie where, where is it, Fe veil, thank you. The, t the guys look like they have, the guys, they, they freaking look like, they're like, you know what, I don't even care about this tie. Let's just YOLO it, that's, that's what they did. They just freaking, like, nah, but like, this, this outfit looks like I just came out of the freaking bathtub real quick, and I'm like, nah. <laughs> then I put on some of these things, but that's about it. Um, the outfit doesn't look too bad. You know, it doesn't look too bad, but it's, in my opinion, it could be better, right? It could be better. Um, but that's the outfit right there. If you guys are hunting for outfit from a freaking box. If you, if you guys are seriously buying this for the box, what, what, what the hell are you guys doing real quick? Please, please rethink your money, okay? Rethink your money because money is valuable. Very valuable, all right, guys? So that's the outfit. Demon Spirit Stone can be used to uh, make sacred oils, and I'll go over what sacred oils are. If you guys do not know them, Evolve Stone, same thing. Help to make um, uh, sacred oils as well. Not a lot of uses. The, the main thing those two items are used for is sacred oils. The next thing is experience charm. Once again, useless to me because I don't really care. Um, galaxy fragments. If, I, if you get a lot of those things, you can get legendary uh, PvP legendary soul shields. And I have a 5 piece set right here, which gives me, you know, ascend it for about 45, uh, 45 damage increase, 45% and damage increase, accuracy, defense, yada, 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 you know, and some HP as well. Um, that's the galaxy fragments and that's what they're used for and also you can get a galaxy weapon Not bad, right? So other ornaments same thing help you to Excuse me help you to um, upgrade to legendary weapons, which is very nice um, Not any other use than that and well they can help you make uh, gems as well next thing is legendary gem hammer now again, they're only useful if you don't have a 6 slot on your legendary hammer, but, but that's about it. And uh, you can't really transfer them either. So if you get them, and you're a legendary player, and you got all 6 slots, these things are practically useless to you. Again, like, things that you don't really need. Like, I don't really need gem hammers. I don't. I, I, I hope I don't get any. Lunar Twilight uh, Flowers. Those things, you can um, get yourself some uh, soul stones I believe right here soul stones and you're gonna need eight of them for the first set now I don't even have okay I, I don't even have the achievement I need the achievement first to be able to uh, unlock these things so yeah that's what I gotta do first and uh, that's that's what I gotta do so to get these uh, lunar things so these lunar uh, flowers aren't too hard to get you know if you do your dailies and then you do your uh, midnight scale play that gives you 10 14 14 per day and you can uh, grab these plants pretty easily, but the plants are there so so uh, you can craft the flowers So but chest of four flowers is not that bad mysterious crystals uh, Are created to like help you make gems again not really I'm not a gem crafter So this is useless to me, but if you guys are gem crafters, then you know it can be useful to you Naryu silvers are literally I think that you I think they put Naryu silvers in there just to mess with you because Naryu Naryu silvers are like literally useless to me all right I have like 700 of those things they're freaking useless the next thing is sacred oil now if you look at the prices of sacred oil all right guys so let's take a look at the prices of sacred oil now all you gotta type to do is oil and that's it that's hold on hold on hold on guys that, that's not it that's not what I meant I think there it is guys, sealed sacred oils right here. So sealed, the lowest one is about 300 gold, okay? It's still 300 gold that you're saving and these are all sealed. So um, you need, you're gonna need to unseal them to be able to use them. But sacred oils right now are hella expensive and you can get rich by, by you know, by getting these sacred oils, thingy my bobbers, and uh, you can uh, upgrade and you can get your soul to a really high level. But that is something that's really, really useful, and sacred oils is in this box. Now, I have seen people have really good luck, and some people have really bad luck on the sacred oil. So, again, 
like it's it's a thing and sacred oil is really really good so i really want some sacred oil next thing is titan skin titan skins are actually going down in prices so they're not really that useful in my opinion titan skins um you only need five of them and that's about it like you only need five so and i already have five so um Basically, Titan skins are useless to me, and there's just a lot of stuff here that's are, that are useless to me. The freaking outfits useless. Not use silvers are useless. Um, let's see, freaking experience charms are useless. Stingers are useless. Radiant energy is useless. The outfits useless. If I didn't say that. Um, let's see. And the, the potions are also useless to me. So there's a lot of things that are useless to me in here. But I'm still going to do it because I really want some sacred oils. All right? I'm going to do it because I want some sacred oils to upgrade my soul. Because I don't have a soul. Like my soul is so weak it doesn't really matter to me. You know what I mean? But that is my little review. Now should you buy this? If you are gearing up. Okay? If you're gearing up and you know you got some money to spend. And you're not pre-legendary like me. And you've been stockpiling up on materials lately. Then, if you're gearing up, then 100% you should go for this chest. This chest is has literally what like it has everything you need to upgrade all your all your weapons and all your accessory, and you know you you can get it to upgrade all your stuff. If you are not okay, if you're not pre legendary and you don't have and you don't play a lot and you know you can't really you know have the time you know to grind thousands and thousands of golds, not gold, yeah. You know hundreds and thousands of golds then uh, don't buy this chest save your gold okay guys save your gold do not buy this chest because it's not worth it um the, the freaking gem is gonna be rare the premium transformation stone is gonna be rare like like and the oils i heard they only have a five percent chance to drop so it's not like it's not like you know this chest is like super overpowered or anything so if you're pretty legendary and you're upgrading like you can go for it because there's some good stuff in there but if you are if you are if you are already legendary and or or pre-legendary even and you've been stockpiling some some materials then don't buy this chest in my opinion it's not it's not really worth it the only thing that's you know you know late game players need is you know that gem some premium transformation stone and they'll be happy and some sacred oils of course to make them like you know happy but that's about it that's my little review guys hope you guys enjoyed it um if i'm you know if i you know think that this uh, you know this chest is totally worth it then uh if you guys think that this chest is totally worth it let me know in the comment down below if you this ch if you think this chest is totally garbage and you should never buy these buy these pay to win chests then also let me know down in the comment section down below speaking of comments that uh that's in the description not in the comment section down below make sure to leave your questions for me for the 500 subscriber special i'll be having a special q a video coming up pretty soon um, and we'll be, you know, we'll have some cool questions for you guys to ask. And uh, if you guys ask questions, I'll probably answer them. And um, yeah, with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found this thing kind of useful. And uh, now you know what to uh, maybe get or not get in the icy tree. Okay, guys. So with that being said, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Blade and Soul. See you guys then.